Ko Lipe, one of the most beautiful islands in Thailand with many white beaches and crystal clear water. It has a laid back walking street, a lot of fish and seafood, and plenty of hidden bars and restaurants. Let's have a look. Hey Gems, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. We are on a tropical island called Koh Lipe, one of the most beautiful islands in the world. To get to this island, we traveled from Koh Lanta, hopped on a boat that cost us 1600 baht per person. 1600 baht gave us a pickup service from our hotel on Koh Lanta as well. Now we left Koh Lanta behind on our way to one of the most beautiful islands here in Thailand. Today we're gonna give you the real deal what Koh Lipe looks like. We're not only showing you the beauty of this island, no, we're showing you really what our experiences are. We arrived on the most busiest beach, Pattaya Beach, yesterday. We hopped off, experienced a really wide beach. The scent is very fine. Checked in, had dinner. This morning we walked from Pattaya Beach to the other side, to Sunrise Beach, to see what is there and we found out that it's really windy on the other side so we basically made a u-turn you can chill out on Pattaya beach it's a beautiful stretched out beach with a lot of development but we chose to walk around the rocks they made a wooden um yeah bits where you can walk over uh, like a wooden bridge i would call it and you can come to this beach it is a little smaller like Pattaya beach the boats are coming in and out so you're hearing the engines pretty much constantly uh, running from the boats, you know, and they don't have soft engines. No, they have proper hardcore sound throughout your day. So, big downside, I think, of this beach. But we are very positive about this island so far. We're not going to make it more beautiful than it is. We're not going to make it less beautiful than it is. Just going to show you in this episode the reality of Koh Lipe. What does it look like? We are at Shannon Beach, and I'm not going to show you a lot of this beach. There are just beaches. We're showing you a few other beaches as well but we're also showing the town walking street we're gonna have some lunch or some dinner we're not doing this alone we're doing this with Ilona hey, what's happening champs hey, what are your first impressions of Koh Lipe Koh Lipe well I'm totally relaxed yeah the beaches are super white the sand is like dust like that yeah flower flowerish um, I didn't expect a lot of people though. It yeah, there are quite a few people. We thought it was a, like a deserted island kind of thing and it's not really. Yeah, and especially when you come from Koh Lanta. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very quiet there and yeah. not a lot of tourists. Or, there are, but well, crowded is not really crowded there. Yeah. And uh, I mean, come on, let's see. Yeah, there's, there's not many people, no. but um, yeah, it's it's. it's it is beautiful, yeah, definitely. It is special, still special, yeah. right? All right, we said enough, let's crack on. Pattaya Beach, you can just chill on your sun lounge, have a few drinks, get a massage. It's all possible here. The sand is super fine, super white. And super soft. And super soft. Uh, yeah, the water is crystal clear. Seriously, like Ilona was saying, there are quite a few people but preparing to go to Moi, Phuket, this is not busy at all. We walk to the other side of the island to Sunset Beach. Just fancying some food, a drink, maybe watch the sunset before we're taking you to Walking Street because we're gonna have to check that out as well. We had a look already last night. We are at Bayview restaurant at Sunset Beach. Nice beach, but nothing compared to the other beach, right? Like the, the sand is um, a bit thicker, but it's quiet. And at least uh, the music is pumping on the back, but uh, it, there's not so many people. And the sun, I'm not even sure it's gonna set by uh, the water, but it is nice and calm. I think um, this is a beach where you can escape a little bit from the busyness. And I can't imagine the busyness uh, gonna start in a minute because the restaurant is full already, the people are you know, chilling. Happy hour is on, 100 baht mojitos. 
cannot lose. We're looking over Ko Adang. This is another island which has almost no development whatsoever. Um, yeah, you can go there to watch this island as well to the viewpoint. I'll show a picture what it looks like. We're not doing this today. But yeah, you're gonna have to uh, consider going there as well. We're only staying here for two nights. We're on our way to Langkawi. We're going into Malaysia. So yeah, we'll, uh, we're just gonna take it easy. We had a burger, some pasta, and uh, we're uh, excited about the market, right? Because the market is looking good. We are gonna spoil you a little bit later on this episode with uh, some seafood, maybe a fish. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Are you excited about this one? I you... love seafood, so let's <laughs> Let's crack on! Before we start the evening, I would like to say that uh, on the way back from Sunset Beach, Sunset by Sunset Beach, I said it right, we passed a garbage tip. We uh, found out that there's also recycling here on the island, which is a good thing. But we also saw, and this is also something that we have to mention, a lot of rubbish here and there. So yeah, especially here, they clean everything and it's beautiful. We're gonna put some music up. We're gonna show you the market a little bit. It is very clean here, but if you're going off road a little bit, off track, in between the beaches, yeah, there is unfortunately still a lot of rubbish. And as we're walking along the street, there's so many different shops. There's not much of a market, it's more like a... A walking street. A walking street <laughs> with a lot of shops open. The vibes over here are very chilled. People are smiling to each other. Many people here are Thai tourists. And there are also a lot of foreign tourists uh, from all over. You know, in Lanta, there's a lot of Scandinavian people here. It's just a, a mixture of, of everything. And also, what, which we like, there's a lot of Thai people here as well. This is really nice. Also a lot of uh, coffee shops here, weed shops. I mean, you can buy weed there. Bob Miley is uh, playing pretty much everywhere. A lot of tattoo shops. You also can go to all these different destinations. Like seriously, this is also one of the reasons why people come here. This is just a, a traveling hub. Coconut, no, not then, but then, but. Coconut, ten bat, ten bat, coconut, donut, ten bat, ten bat. <laughs> There's a bar here, people can enjoy a drink. Ah, and dinner time champ, so uh, we're gonna have to have a little bit of food. Coming up. They have a great looking menu. King crab, aloy ma. Straight off the barbecue after getting it out of the sea. Ooh. Tiger prawns. I think this is our our four right there. Maybe five. Six. Six. <laughs> oh, look at these beauties. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Can we have six of them? On the bar barbecue, only very short time. And uh, we would love to have this lobster as well, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> A scene. Ah, uh, this beautiful snapper. Can, can we take this snapper as well, please? Uh, it's that beauty. Oh, look at these beauties. Thank you. <laughs> sea loy, uh, 400 baht. Okay, come. We are at the King's Crab Champs. It's gonna be delicious. We ordered some kale as well in oyster sauce, some rice. Got some good company as well. Holding the camera, being cheeky without me, eh? Starting the video already. The restaurant is full at the moment. Like everyone is uh, having a good time sitting here eating. We've got the King prawns. Massive they are, a lot of meat in there. The kale and the fish is already bonus, they made it already perfectly, look at this. This seafood sauce, the Nambik seafood, is, like Ilona saying, perfect. You know, you want to, if you have a, a good seafood, you want to have a good Nambik seafood. 
beautiful, tasty. They give you some grilled potato with it. You've got a little beer you want to bring out the toast. To all the champs that are watching, still watching right now, we are nearly, uh, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the episode. And uh, closer and closer. To me getting angry, hangry. Oh, you're getting hangry. <laughs> you want to start? Okay, let's dig in. You know, I always complain when I'm talking too long. So, in the future episode, if we start the food vlog or we eating, we're probably eating already while we're, you know, at the start of the video. Right. This is delicious champs. I hope you enjoyed this episode, this short episode really. Uh, we want to show you a lot more. We're only staying here for, for two nights in total. We're only making one video. Um, but, but where are we going tomorrow? We're going tomorrow to Langkawi. So the next episode will show you the journey from Thailand to Malaysia by boat. It's going to be uh, the first time for both of us that we're going to make this trip. Really excited about this Langkawi. We're going to stay about a week. But enough about Langkawi for this episode. Ko Lippe. How was it for you? Just two days of relaxing. Nothing that we have, have to do. Just yeah. Surprised by the beautiful beaches, the wide, yeah. wide, clear water. It's just amazing. Yeah. So, seriously, there is a place called Esperance in Australia, which has the most beautiful beaches in the world with the widest sand ever. It's the same over here, Chan. Really, like you're gonna have to check it out. It is a little bit busy. Don't expect a deserted island. Uh, 20 years ago, I'm sure if you were here 20 years ago and you come here now, you might think like, oh, what, what, what happened? What happened here? <laughs> Maybe it's not that great. But no. But if you're if you're new to Thailand, if you're new to Koh Lipa, and if you've never seen a wide beach before, hey, you will be surprised. It's pretty mind blowing here, and the seafood as well. It's Affordable, the locals are lovely, you know, like on Colanta, there is a really slow pace over here. Yeah, overall, we love Ko Lipa, right? Say that for the both of us. Champs, I want to call out the champ of the day. This is Randy. Randy uh, has been with the channel for quite a little while, and uh, when you're saying hello, then I know you're watching and uh, you're liking the content. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. We would like to say from the south of Thailand, on a tropical island called Ko Lipa, Bye for now. Stay